Um, we've got a, uh, a small organic barley farm and a small organic hop field that we've been uh, raising for nearly 10 years. And uh, we produce, uh, we were, I think, the first to produce in a state beer where we um, grew all the ingredients, uh, all the barley, all the hops, uh, and, and we grow them organically. And we had a, uh, an awful barley uh, harvest last year. Um, rains came at the wrong time, and um, we ended up losing. Actually, we, we ended up with barley, but we didn't think it was great barley, and so we chose to use it as organic animal feed rather than to brew with it. And uh, we uh, uh, purchased some organic barley from some friends and, and ended up um, making what we call devastation. Instead of a state ale, it was uh, devastation ale. Play on that word. Now, one particular s extreme weather event may not be directly attributed to climate change, but there are some broad patterns that are hitting the beer industry. So tell us about that, Yakima Valley and other places. Right. Uh, actually, this, uh, this year in North America, we had one of the worst barley harvests on record, and it wasn't because of a lack of water. It was because of uh, too much water at the wrong time. Um, the, uh, most of the barley we purchased is dry land farmed, and uh, a lot of it got heavily rained and snowed on. Uh, which caused it to sprout out in the field and, and make it pretty unsuitable for, for brewing beer. So um, what's been happening with barley acreage, it's been declining pretty rapidly uh, in North America and being replaced by um, corn, soybeans, GMO uh, crops that have replaced a lot of the barley acreage. Um, and we're finding more diseases uh, coming in from those crops that are affecting uh, barley, but also just displacing the acreage. On the hop side, uh, a lot of the Traditional hop growing regions in North America have been um, seeing climates uh, shifting to um, temperatures that do not facilitate some uh, varieties from, from yielding very well or, or doing very well. So uh, we're starting to see acreage move to Idaho and, and other areas that are, are a little bit cooler. Uh, so it is affecting what varieties will grow where and farmers are taking notice that what, what had been a traditional harvest window is now moving quite a bit like your like your berries, that they, they're having to move their harvest times. 